From its thousands of comic strips to its television specials to every other possible incarnation, Charles Schultz's Peanut stories have always centered on the quiet, soul-searching quests of Charlie Brown. While these tales came to a close after nearly 50 years on February 13, 2000, and the concurrent passing of Schultz, they eventually found new life in 2015 through the Peanuts movie, a new take on classic stories that saw Chuck and Friends come to life in 3D computer animation for the first time on the big screen. While the idea of carrying on Peanuts long after the end of Schultz's run is a risky move that could have run afoul of the many issues seen in countless modern animated reincarnations of beloved cartoons, the Peanuts movie is not only a loving continuance of the struggles of Charlie Brown, but is an uplifting and heartfelt conclusion which brings answers to many long-running questions caused by self-doubts throughout the decades of Peanuts stories. These answers come in the form of loving truths. Charlie Brown it might be time to consider the wild possibility that you're a good person and that people like you. The Peanuts movie is a story that shows love and kindness to both Charlie Brown and the lovable loser inside us all. Filled with kind affirmations regarding what truly makes a person worthy of respect and care, it's a sweet and innocent tale that reminds us of the importance of caring for others above ourselves and, in doing so, improving our own little worlds. Revolving around a simple plot driven forward by a series of interconnected set pieces, the Peanuts movie follows Charlie Brown, down in the dumps kid and all around good person who just can't catch a break. When a new student known only as the little red haired girl moves into town, Charlie is immediately smitten and tries to prove his worth to himself and to the girl of his dreams. Along the way, we see how his friends change their views of him and the literal flights of fancy taken by his trusty dog Snoopy who pits himself in an imaginary battle against the evil Red Baron. While Charlie struggles to have the object of his affection notice him as a retelling of many classic Peanuts stories, the Peanuts movie quietly moves past a shallow search for worth in the perceptions of others and instead reasserts the importance of self-respect. It's lovely, touching, and simple, with its ideas serving as an eloquent way to give some sense of closure to the long-running Peanuts tales even as these timeless stories seem destined to be retold and cherished for decades to come. Translating the signature artwork of Charles Schultz and the indelible animation style of the television specials into a CGI animated film is a process clearly fraught with perils. That rough and scratchy look is just as interlinked with Peanuts as the downhearted humor that pervaded everything from Schultz. Director Steve Martino and writers Craig and Brian Schultz, sons of the franchise creator, managed to recapture the magic of the franchise in a way that feels natural, not copied or overly reliant upon nostalgia, although a pre-existing love for the franchise surely does the film favors when viewed by an adult audience. The spectacular animation seen here recreates Schultz's signature drawing style within a three-dimensional world, with a hand-drawn approach to character animations coming to life in facial features, quick movements, and profile angles. This unconventional approach to 3D animation catches the eye and charms viewers without distracting from the story at hand. Instead, it reinforces the idea of the Peanuts movie being a spiritual continuation of everything that came before. While this is most certainly the flashiest Peanuts product ever created, the core nature of the franchise is preserved, even if it is somewhat sped up in tempo and given a glossier sheen. Although the style and cast of the Peanuts franchise has changed since it began in 1950, the focus has always been Charlie Brown and his struggles. While every character brings something special to the table, it's Charlie who is almost always the moral and emotional center of each story. That's most certainly the case here, as the Peanuts movie, like the many specials that came before it, sees its central character attempt to overcome adversity and the viewpoints of the many people around him. We're meant to root for Charlie Brown every step of the way thanks to the relatable nature of the character and his struggles, as well as the great voice work done by young actor Noah Schnapp, also known for his role as Will Byers in Stranger Things. The kid voices of the Peanuts gang, like the many specials and films before, assert an innocence and wholesomeness that is integral to preserving the sweet nature of these stories. Given that the Peanuts characters have been around for so long, their personalities and many of their voices are burned into the childhood memories of people around the world. All oh, Great Pumpkin, where are you? Linus, Lucy, Peppermint Patty, and every other returning character feels genuine to who they are. Plus, the use of archival recordings of TV special director Bill Melendez for Snoopy and Woodstock are a welcome addition. 
given that it was his voice that brought them to life for decades. While Snoopy is largely literally off in his own fantasy world in the Peanuts movie, his fictional adventures as the World War I flying ace both help break up the pace of the film and echo his owner's own struggles. As he fights the Red Baron to save the life of his love Fifi, Snoopy's more exaggerated characteristics of resiliency and bravery reflect Charlie's own more grounded, courageous acts. Outside of the two heroes, perennial favorites Linus and Lucy Van Pelt play the largest roles in the arc of the film. While Lucy may be a constant thorn in Charlie's side, Linus doles out sage wisdom to his best friend, constantly redirecting Charlie to do the right thing, no matter what. Hey, Charlie Brown. Still no luck, huh? Oh. Now remember, it's the courage to continue oh. that cow! While an amazing test score suddenly shifts the perceptions of others regarding Charlie, Linus has always believed in the goodness of his friend. Really, the alteration in attitude allows others to see Charlie for who he actually is, looking past their own preconceived notions, even if they sometimes overcompensate in their admiration. There's a small but very significant shift found in the character of Charlie Brown in the Peanuts movie. While the long-suffering protagonist of Schultz's cartoons has never been a bad person, he's often been portrayed as a somewhat passive protagonist, a put-upon character who's not typically the direct cause of the setbacks he suffers, and a lovable loser often left to contemplate the depressing nature of the world around him without the ability to change it. Most often, good old Charlie Brown just can't seem to do things right, no matter what those things might be. In the Peanuts movie, we see a much more proactive Charlie Brown, someone who is not only trying to improve his own lot in life, but a person who is frequently presented with opportunities to make the lives of others better and takes those chances, even at the cost of his own reputation. That's not a real horse. <laughs> when his little sister Sally is about to be embarrassed at the school talent show, Charlie sacrifices his own well-made magic act for her good, despite his own embarrassment. When he's partnered up with the little red-haired girl for a book report, only to find out she has left for the week to see her sick grandmother, he takes responsibility to get it done all on his own to the best of his abilities. And most importantly, when he's presented with an award for the top performance in standardized testing, he immediately tells the assembled school that the test wasn't his when he realizes the mistake. You have all been so kind. It's not often that I get this sort of recognition. But... Um, uh -oh. there's been a mistake. This is not my test. None of these instances work out well for Charlie's reputation, but time and again, our hero tries to do the right thing. It's still the Charlie Brown that people have found lovable and relatable across the decades. But the courage to proactively do what is right is a step away from the often immobilized sad sack that the character is often seen as by mainstream audiences, whether that is completely accurate or not. As winter turns to spring, Charlie sees his constant attempts to get the little red-haired girl to notice him continually come to nothing. That is, until his crush picks him to be her pen pal partner for the summer. Charlie thinks that he has gone unnoticed by the object of his affections, but that is far from the truth. He is seen, understood, and cared for, whether he knows it or not. With the last day of school over and the little red-haired girl leaving town for the summer, Charlie rushes off to speak with her and try to understand in some small way why she would pick him of all people as her pen pal. There is sheer emotional truth present within the Peanuts movie. The relatability and kind heart at the film center is alive and real, and that's something that makes this truly in the spirit of Schultz's work. Those ups and downs, wins and losses, and the fervor for which audiences root for Charlie Brown slowly sink in deeper and deeper during the film's runtime until the very end, when pure love and truth is spoken aloud to our hero. I like the compassion you showed for your sister at the talent show, the honesty you had at the assembly, and at the dance. You were brave <laughs> and funny. <laughs> And what you did for me, doing the book report while I was away, was so sweet of you. <gasps> so when I look at you, I don't see a failure at all. You have all the qualities that I admire. As seen in the reactions of the many kids around him, it's not just the little red-haired girl who recognizes Charlie's good heart and inherent worth. It's clear that Charlie's crush cares for him, and that the many struggles he has weathered have not been in vain. Not because they gained her attention, 
but because they positively impacted the people around him by embracing goodness and acting on it selflessly. You're still full of surprises. Good old Charlie Brown. Yeah! Maybe it's because Charlie never gets to win. Maybe it's because the message spoken is so needed for everyone who watches this movie. But this is an ending that lands with deserved emotional catharsis. As the story of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts gang comes to a close, we cheer for our hero and embrace a pure moment of innocent, youthful joy, which comes from a good heart put into action for the sake of others. The Peanuts movie asserts that it is the heart of a person that matters most, so long as we move past our own insecurities and treat each other right. When we embrace love and kindness for one another, our better natures win out in the end. It's not about getting the girl or winning the award, even though Charlie Brown believes that it's these accomplishments which will define him. Rather, it's the courage to continue despite endless setbacks that counts. If we stop to recognize each other for our hearts and minds, rather than the trophies and accolades we've won, we can see past the material and into the only things that really matter in the end. In doing so, we not only bring out the best in ourselves, we bring out the best in each other.